just to know when I'm wearing this perfume, I'm gonna take your man, okay? You be like chocolate, sumo baby, check out chocolate, sorry baby. Hey guys, I'm Boosie, and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm gonna be doing a perfume collection video. Um, so I'm just gonna be going through like my perfume collection and letting y'all know which ones are my favorites. Um, and yeah, let's get into the video. So first, um, I just wanna say I got this tray off Amazon. I'm gonna leave the link below. Right now I have nine perfumes. I really, I'm telling y'all, y'all don't have to be like me. Y'all can, you know, y'all don't have to get a lot. I mean, this is not even a lot, like, but for a beginner, I feel like I just kind of went overboard. Um, I blame my friend Tammy because she definitely started my obsession. So I started my collection in November and I've just been getting perfumes like literally ever from everywhere. But I mostly get my perfumes from FragranceNet.com. That's where I'll always get my perfumes because they just have the best prices. And I'm literally telling y'all like the perfumes on FragranceNet.com are the same perfumes in Ulta, Sephora. Like it's literally the same thing, but for cheaper prices. And then on top of like the already like low prices, they always have like a coupon or a discount code. So I love FragranceNet and unless there's like a cheaper website than FragranceNet.com, this is where I'm always gonna get my perfumes. I think I maybe got like two from like Ulta because I had a gift card. But other than that, like I got, got them from FragranceNet.com. So for most of my perfumes, I did them as blind buys, which means I kind of just went off like reviews and like suggestions from like other people. And I just ordered it and like my first time smelling it was, you know, when it got here. But then for some of them, I did go into the store and smell them. I would like, if you're not sure you're gonna like it, I would say go to the store and smell it. But then again, like not all stores will have the perfume you're looking for, so. You're just gonna have to have faith. Most, like literally most of these I did as blind buys and I ended up loving every single one. I have two favorites. I love all of my perfumes. Literally, I love all of them, but these two, y'all, I'm gonna get to it. But yeah, um, since I did like most of them as blind buys, I got the one ounce sizes because like it didn't really make sense to get the 3.4 ounce or like 1.7 ounce if I wasn't sure I was gonna like it. So I just started off with like the smallest like size I could possibly get. And if I, you know, if I did like it, then I would get it in a bigger size. If you were to take anything from this video, the main takeaway is to get your perfumes off FragranceNet.com. Like I'm telling y'all, like you'll save so much money and you can get more perfumes if you just get it off FragranceNet.com. Like, don't, don't be that one person who, who decides to get it from Ulta or Sephora. I'm telling you to get it from Fragrance Net. So, I'm going to start with my collection now that I have went through the little spiel. I have nine perfumes, but two of them are like toilettes, like Eau de Toilettes, and then the rest are Eau de Parfums. Please forgive me from saying that wrong because, like, I don't know. Okay guys, so this is Versace Yellow Diamond. This was my first perfume ever. It's a really like fresh scent. It's a feminine smell. And this is like one that I use as like my go-to like everyday perfume. I can't really explain to y'all what it smells like. I'm telling y'all, I just, I can't, but it smells good. Like I really, really like it. I got this one from Ulta, but this was like before I even knew about FragranceNet.com. Like when I say this is my very, very first perfume, like before I even started my collection. So I think I, bu I bought this one ounce for $60. And if you go on FragranceNet.com, like you'll see it for $40. So this is my first mistake, but you know, your girl, your girl learned from her mistakes and now all of them are from FragranceNet. Well, the rest of them are from fra FragranceNet.com. But yeah, I really like this one. I think it's a really good like everyday perfume. It smells bomb. So this is the Chanel Chance Autandre. This is a like light and fresh scent. It's a soft floral scent. Um, it's really sophisticated. The only thing though is it doesn't last long. And also you should get the Chanel Autandre instead of the other perfume because it, it has the same performance. This is one I would wear to like brunch if I was going out. I really like this scent. This is um, a scent that my best friend Fanta recommended to me and I love it. It smells so good. I wish I could explain it to y'all but I'm just not like that descriptive. So y'all just gonna have to take my word for it. I love this one. It's a really, really good spring scent so yeah so now i'm gonna move on to my parfums i'm just going in a random order this is burberry her and y'all i love this. i love all my perfumes so if you hear me like saying i love this one like 
and I'm getting repetitive just now like I love all of them but this one I was just kind of so pressed to get it because this one has like it's like a really sweet scent like it kind of smells like candy I wear this one like as an everyday perfume like this is the one I'm always kind of like reaching for I just love how it smells it's just like a fresh sweet scent I just really love it like it smells so good this is probably like one of my like sweetest perfumes and this is another one that I'll wear like every day like this is actually the one I'm wearing right now so yeah I love Burberry Her so y'all should definitely get this one so this is YSL Montpourri. This is another spring scent. Um, another one that's really sweet. I love this perfume. I went to smell this one in person and I was like, oh my gosh, I actually have to order, like I actually have to order it. It's a sweet, subtle fragrance. It's, it's like kind of fruity, but not childish. Like I think this is a really good spring scent. If you guys want like a YSL perfume, this is one to get. I actually think all the YSL perfumes are really good. That's why I have like that's why I have them. I think you guys will like this one, so definitely try it out. This is Carolina Herrera, good girl. Y'all, look at the bottle. Like, come on now. Like, when I saw a heel perfume, I was like, yeah, I need to get that. So this one's really popular. This one smells really good. Um, It's a warm, like, floral scent, but yeah, like, I'll wear this at nighttime if I was going to, like, dinner or something. This is what I would wear. So yeah, I think this is a perfect, like, wintertime scent. Then of course, Black Opium. My friend Saba, she had recommended it to me when I was like trying to build up my collection. And I was like, what? Everyone keeps talking about this Black Opium, but this one smells really good. Like everyone has Black Opium and I'm telling you there's a reason why. Like you can't say you have a, a perfume collection if you don't have Black Opium. Like you can't. Like. I'm so happy I got this one. One time me and my brother were trying to get my mom like a birthday present and we were like, let's get her perfume. And he was like smelling like the the suggestions I was giving him. And he smelled the black opium. He was like, yeah, that's the one. And I was like, see, like everyone loves this one. Um, This one you'll get like a lot of compliments on, like, you know, so if you want to compliment getter, nighttime like a nice nighttime perfume in the winter this one it's a must have a necessity uh like you i'm just you can't have a collection if you don't have it my first time ever wearing it out i went to a party and i just got so many compliments on it like everyone was asking me like what was i wearing i was just like oh black opium black opium tell me y'all that like like this one is one of the ones everyone needs to have like i'm gonna keep saying it must have necessity get it now like after this video just just get it it's one of the most popular perfumes like everyone has it as they should though and yeah i just feel really grown really sexy when i wear this perfume definitely think that y'all should fade it this next perfume i'm about to pick up just now like i said i'm not going in any specific order but y'all this perfume is literally my favorite perfume in the whole entire world like actually like seriously moment of silence for this perfume this is dior poison girl my favorite like this is my favorite perfume ever so this is one actually one of the ones i did as a blind buy like um i was looking at reviews and everything i like the reviews so i was like okay let me get it and this was the first one I ordered off fragrancenet.com. So when it came in, like, you know, I smelled and everything. I was like, oh my gosh. I was on the phone with my friends and I was telling them, I was like, y'all, like this perfume smells really, really good. I would not stop talking about it. So like when I saw my friends the next day, I brought the perfume and I was like, no, I'm sorry. Like y'all need to smell this. Like, I literally always suggest this one to everyone who asks like about a perfume. Poison Girl, y'all, it's always sold out literally i've never seen it in stores after this runs out this is gonna be my first like 3.4 ounce bottle like i love this perfume this one is another compliment getter like everyone always asks like oh what am i wearing they always be asking me what i got on like they be like hey brandon what you got on right there i want to smell like that just like a really sexy scent like just know when i'm wearing this perfume I'm gonna take your man okay please if you get this perfume please tell me how you like it like you I'm telling you like you just won't not like it another main takeaway of this video is like y'all this perfume like I'm not even gonna lie like when I first got it I would just be randomly spraying it like just or going in my room just to smell this perfume like it smells so good like I cannot wait to get 
a bigger bottle. I'm really coming for the 3.4 ounce next. So this is YSL Libre. Y'all, this is like a scent that I wear to work. It's just clean, it's fresh. First of all, I love, like this is my favorite bottle. Like the design of it is like my favorite design of a bottle. Like this, I just feel so luxurious when I wear this perfume. I just actually feel so clean. A clean, fresh scent. Like that is literally what this smells like. I feel like money, like, rich rich one thing i love about this perfume is that it's long lasting i remember one time i wore this perfume to work and like i go to work at like 8 a.m and i get up at like 2 and my friend was like you smell good like you smell really good and i was just like period why is so libre y'all this is like my favorite one to wear to work because i just feel like you know i feel grown i feel like okay i'm about to get business done like period love all my perfumes like i'm telling y'all i love all of them because I like really did research. I really read a lot of reviews, watched a lot of videos to make sure that I would like them. And then I also like, for some of them, I went in person and smelled them. So when I say like, they all smell good, like I'm not even trying to lie, you know, I got no reason to lie here. This one, y'all, I, first of all, this is one of my like newer perfumes. This perfume is Lancome La Vie Belle. I've literally been wearing this one like so much. like. I think this perfume smells so good. This one is another one that I just think everyone should have in their collection. Like, this is a, it's a really popular perfume. I feel like a lot of people have it and I definitely see why. I definitely think that this one is one that you should get. Y'all, this perfume smells so bomb. I'm so happy I got it. It literally smells amazing. It's just like a soft, sweet, subtle scent. I was telling Sammy, I was like, you actually need to get this perfume. And she went into Ulta the next day and she was like, I'm getting it. Like she texted me, she was like, I'm getting it. And I was like, yes, like it smells good. But then I was like, wait, actually like, please Please get it from Breaker Smith. So she ordered it and she loves it. Like y'all, I'm telling you, this one smells really, really good. And you also get a lot of compliments on it. Like this one is kind of one of the ones that I'm kind of like wearing every day. I try to like switch it up so I'm not wearing the same perfume every day, but this one's kind of like another one of like my favorites. If I had to choose two favorites, it would definitely be Lancome La Via Belle and Dior Poison Girl, but Dior Poison Girl, like top, like top, top, top. And then, you know, this is the second. It smells really, really bomb. And it also lasts long. So I think this is one that you guys should get. Another one that should really be in your collection. If I was to say two that I think are must-haves, like necessities, it would be this perfume, the Lancome La Via Belle and the YSL Black Opium my perfume collection again i got the perfume tray off amazon i'm gonna link it below i'm just actually so happy i started that collection and i definitely want to get more but i'm kind of just trying to chill right now because i think nine is like a good number i didn't even mean to get nine like i'm just kind of like always just buying it just out the random so yeah so that's it for my perfume collection i'm actually so excited because tomorrow i'm gonna make my own perfume with Tammy. I'm definitely gonna vlog it. I don't even know like what type of perfume I'm gonna make, but I'm just gonna vlog the whole thing and hopefully y'all enjoy it. Y'all make sure you like, comment, and subscribe and please, please, please leave down some suggestions of perfumes I should try. Let me know if you have any of the perfumes I mentioned, how you like them, if you didn't like them, or if you watched this video and you were like, okay, like she said these perfumes were good, I'm gonna try it and you ended up liking it, let me know because I'm just like I would love to see if y'all really follow my suggestions and if you love them as much as I do so that's it for this video I've literally been trying to record this video for so long but here we are you know I'm trying to get more comfortable in front of the camera if you haven't already make sure y'all check out my last video and I hope y'all enjoy it thank y'all so much for watching and yeah I'll see y'all in my next video